Hello and welcome. I am so delighted that you are joining me today. Today I wanted to share three camera accessories that have really enhanced my landscape photography adventures. So these are not items that have made my photos better quality. These are the items that have, when I'm out there in the field taking photos, have either made it more efficient or just made the whole experience a little bit better. And so all these items are under 75 US dollars as of February, 2023, and they are all linked in the description below. I also encourage you, if you have some camera accessory accessories that are like under $100, to share those in the comments section below. Always love to hear about new camera accessories or what people are using that help with their camera experience out in the field. So anyways, without further delay, we're gonna jump right into it with my number one item that I purchased last year that really, 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 I don't know if I can emphasize this enough, greatly improved the efficiency of my photography adventures. And so I am the type of photographer that likes to take photos of the journey. So I like taking photos all along the trail and including that destination. And so for me, the Peak Design Captra Capture Camera Clip has really been a game changer with making my, making my landscape photography adventures and made it more efficient. And so these ca this capture camera clip is very easy to install on your camera. It fits on your camera strap. So like on my camera bag strap, I'm able to, I've been able to attach it to both the Osprey um, hiking backpack that I had converted to a camera bag. And then also my new camera bag, the Shimoda um, Designs Explorer version two camera bag. Um, I have been able to fit my Nikon Z6 with the 70 to 200 millimeter lens attached to it on that cap, the camera clip, and it's been perfectly fine. It just really makes it efficient so I don't have to either <laughs> struggle with the camera, a camera strap and my camera bag, and it's just kind of floating around on the side, um, but it also is not inside my bag, so if a deer runs across me in front of, in front of me, like on the trail, I, I'm not missing that shot. I'm able to quickly unsnap it from the camera clip and take photo, snap it back on and continue on the trail. So it's just been really efficient for my style of photography. The, and I believe that this is right around $75 US dollars um, as of today, um, but it's been 100% worth every single penny of it. I absolutely love it. It comes in two colors, black and silver. I happen to have the black one. Um, so yeah, so that's the first item up on my list. It's also the most expensive item on this list of my of list of three. Um, but yeah, so the capture camera clip, love it. It's been a game saver with efficiency and just, yeah, I absolutely love it. The second item on my list is another Peak Design accessory and it's also my newest camera accessory that I've gotten and that is the Peak Design Slide Light camera strap. There's also a slide watt version which is a little bit wider but I have the slide light because it's thinner which works great for my petite self. Um, it's fantastic because um, I'm able to snap it on and off the camera with relative ease, uh, which is fantastic because I, when I'm using the Peak Design camera clip, it's the, a camera strap just kind of gets in the way. But there's times where I'm like, once I get to maybe a destination or I see an area where I want to explore a little bit, I don't really want to take the time and effort to necessarily have to loop in a new camera strap and stuff. And so it's just really made it more efficient to be able to snap it on, snap it off when I want the camera strap. Comes in a variety of colors. I chose blue because, well, blue is kind of like my favorite color as evidenced by the shirt and the lights behind me. I love the color blue. So I chose the blue, but there's a wide variety of colors for you to choose from. Um, this was, I believe, right around 60 US dollars. So um, not the cheapest camera strap out there, but um, very efficient, very useful for um, being able to adapt to different camera styles and cameras. So absolutely love the camera strap. The last item on my list is, so, okay, I'm gonna give you a little backstory about how I came about purchasing this item. And so back in May of 2022, I, thought it would be funny to buy a little bit more humorous accessory to make a video about, which I never really actually made a video 
making fun of this camera accessory or just rather this accessory because I used it during while a rainstorm and realized how wonderful it is. So if you're new to my channel, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. If you've been with my channel for a little bit, you've at least seen this video, this accessory a couple times. And that is, if you're ready, ready for it. It's also the cheapest item on the list. It's the umbrella hat. And yes, I know it's ridiculous. I look ridiculous in it and I really don't care. This particular accessory, um, I got a three pack off of Amazon. I feel like it was maybe like $15, so really inexpensive. Like I said, I bought it for a gag as a gag idea, a prank and stuff, but then I used it and it's really, really fantastic because not only did it keep my camera nice and dry, but it also kept my head a little bit drier. Even though I have a really nice rain jacket with a hood, this just allowed me to stay a little bit drier and hands-free to take photos uh, when it's raining outside. It, um, so the, like I said, I think I said it was a, I bought a three pack. And so the other color, which has been, has appeared in a, a video is this blue one, which is fantastic because, well, like I already said, I love the color blue. The other one, which I have not yet worn, but if I wanted to be a little bit more sneaky, sneaky, maybe I'm taking photos of some wildlife and I want to be a little more camouflaged into my surroundings. It's a camo one. That's right. You can get a blue one for like any day wear or when you um, are near water. You can get the camo one when you want to be a little sneaky, sneaky, or if maybe it's during hunting season or you just feel like being a little bit more fun and you can get the multicolored one. So yeah, there you go. Those are my three items. I know this one is hilarious. This would be a great, here's an idea. If you're looking for something for kind of a prank, a white elephant gift or a gag gift, the umbrella hat would be a good one. Inexpensive, practical, but yet hilarious. So I love the umbrella hats. I will forever be hiking whenever there's a chance of rain. The umbrella hat will be coming with me. So for sure, you'll see it in other videos at some point down the line. So anyways, those are my three camera accessories that have really enhanced my landscape photography experience. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed kind of seeing the three items that help, have helped improve my experience out on the trail. If you, uh, yeah, like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. If you would like to comment down below in the comment section, camera accessories that are under $100 that have helped enhance your landscape photography experience, I would absolutely love to hear about those. So anyways, yeah, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I really hope that you do so you can come along on my photography adventures. Um, hopefully now that spring is around the corner, there's lots of daffodils blooming. Hopefully I'll be getting out there on the trail, taking some more photos. Winter's been a little long, a little drab, and I just haven't been that motivated. But now that there's flowers everywhere, oh, flowers. I'm excited to get out there and take some photos. So I hope that you subscribe so you can come along with me. Anyways, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.